Yes, it is. Frankie, what what filter do? What's the Hostel Rukula? Yeah! <laughs> So in my last video, I went around Orthodox Hasidic Jewish neighborhoods practicing my Yiddish, and people were very surprised. A rabbi invited me back to give me a rare insider's tour of Chabad World Headquarters, which is one of the biggest Hasidic Jewish movements in the world. And of course, along with my YouTuber friend Frankie Light, who also speaks some Yiddish, I had plenty of opportunities to practice my Yiddish, but also Hebrew, and oddly enough, both Spanish and Mandarin Chinese, all with Hasidic Jews. But first, thanks to my own company, Street Smart Languages, for sponsoring this video. Now, people are always asking me, hey, Shauma, how come you speak so many languages? And the answer is that it only takes me about 15 hours to learn a language to the point where I can have basic conversations in it. And that's not because I'm some kind of genius. In fact, exactly the opposite. It's simply because now I figured out that when you're learning a new language, the most important thing is to focus on what I call the opening moves. Like when you're having a conversation with somebody in their language for the first time, the questions that you often get are very similar. Like, how do you speak this language? Where are you from? You've already learned like 50% plus of what you're likely to encounter in your first five minutes of talking with a native speaker. But the good news is now you can use this exact same approach because I literally just co-founded my own language learning company called Street Smart Languages. We have beginner courses that use this same approach to teach you new languages. And we already have beginner courses in Mandarin, Spanish, and very soon French and Japanese. Can you speak a language but you're not fluent yet, the solution is really that you just need more input. And that's how I was able to take my Chinese from beginner level to fluent. When I was living in China, I literally every morning I would wake up and the first thing I would do is turn on the TV, the news in Chinese, and just get a lot of input. Essentially, we created a professionally produced TV show so you can enjoy watching content in your new language just like you would by binging a show on Netflix. So if you're interested in checking out these courses, make sure to go to streetsmartlanguages.com and use code FLUENT for 20% off all courses. And I know you guys are gonna love these courses because I literally helped make them, and so make sure to check them out. We are in front of Chabad World Headquarters. Okay. The message of Chabad is to spread out to the entire world. There are Chabad shluchim and emissaries to the entire world. I have uncles in Hong Kong. Get out and go do good, goodness and kindness. Like when a lot of people, especially non-Jews, like think about Hasidic Jews, they think about a lot of times like a very in. close community, like all keep everything to themselves. You're describing almost the opposite, right? Absolutely. And that's like you guys go everywhere. Philosophy. This is my good friend from right. Israel. He's a uh -huh. big rabbi in Israel. Shalom Aleichem. Ani medaber kitsati for you. Okay. Come on, then you're gonna see something amazing here. Now this would seem like a very small entranceway, mm -hmm. but the whole Chabad movement, which today is thousands and thousands and thousands of people, comfortably was able to fit in the room this size. Wow. When the Rebbe accepted upon himself the leadership of the Chabad movement, yeah. it was in this room. That was the whole crowd. Can you imagine? You think about it. And the Rebbe said, we're going to spread light to the whole world. We're going to bring the redemption to this world. It was right here in a room this size. That's how big Chabad is. Wow. So are there people praying here like 24-7? Well, during the holiday, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> because you have to understand, yeah. in on Sukkot, in Crown Heights, where we are, yeah. there is a phenomenon called that it's day 24-7. The streets, they close up all the streets, they dance right. till 6 a.m. all night. Wow. So the day yeah. finishes at 6 a.m. Right. So sort of the day starts for many a little later as well. So yeah, yeah. there's people praying during the holidays all day, all night. So I, th I think one thing a lot of people are are interested in, if you look around, everybody's wearing like similar clothing. A friend of mine, he joins the bat and he comes back dressed uh, the right. hat and the jacket and his friends are like, wow, you joined the cult. Yeah. You're dressed like everyone else. It's true that there's nothing inherently sacred about a specific dress, but like every army has a uniform. It's not a negative thing to show identity. I think a lot of people would think, oh, you know, the rules are so strict, like there must be tons of people leaving. Like the reality is the attrition rate, if you call it, is extremely low, right? It's like 5%. Like people, there, there's clearly something here that attracts people. The Rebbe didn't force anything on them. He never forced his followers to go anywhere. He inspired them. When yeah. you're inspired, when you're on fire, and it, there's a warmth, you just feel it. Everyone feels like, there's an old expression, I said, feel like one time. Right. You feel it over here. Everyone knows each other. Everyone's yeah. happy. Everyone's doing this out of their joy. And when you're doing it out of joy, 
the kids see it, feel it, and they're not looking to run away from it. So we seem to have just been surrounded by an impromptu prayer group. But, uh, they've decided to daven right here because it's as good as anywhere else today. Right. People almost feel like this whole area is an extended synagogue. Next, I met this guy Moshe Frank, who wanted to show me his drink company and his art fair, but we ended up getting sidetracked by Jews who speak Chinese. This is my drink. This is your drink. My drink. Seltzer. Infused with grape juice. Oh yeah? Yeah. I grew up mixing it myself. Can okay, you drink it uh, yet? Yes, I can't say. Alright. <laughs> Let's try. One second. Hey! Oh, the pungo. You wish you were German, man. We'll play for each other, German. Singapore, I say. Wow. Singapore? Singapore. There you go. You can't go over the shipping, man. Because then I had it's videos cool. on YouTube. Uh, as, a, as a red Chinese, it's very good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then I read the I learned. Wow. I don't know. I'll read the Yiddish and the Hebraish. Hebraish. Yeah. What do you think about it? Delicious. I can't read it. I hope it's starkly, but. Stark, liebe. 30 calories. For what do you want to host in Sydney? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Schicken alle Männer um die ganze Welt. Wow. Wir kaufen der Tequila in Jeden. Oh my gosh. Hungarian or Chinese? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, Chabad gets Chabad gets yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you guys are like going, really going around. Oh yeah, we're the Jewish Mormons. This You're, is this is your art show here. This is my art show. Yeah. This is like a Hasidic Jewish art show. This is a Hasidic Jewish art show. The only wow. one in the world, I believe. Right. The world's first Jewish VR game. He's the creative director of a lot of the art. His wife is Taiwanese. Oh really? Oh, you can speak Chinese? No, Okay. He speaks Chinese. What he's saying, you can speak Chinese. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me how much you are. Sí, porque aprendo muchos idiomas en mi canal y y uso uso en las calles para para hablarme con la con la con la gente en en diferentes idiomas. And uh, I, I look like I speak Chinese. Why? You think? His wife is Chinese and robbed up. So he looks like a boy. Some people actually do tell me that sometimes. Tonight, yeah. you stay later. Street yeah. dancing until 6 a.m. I know, that's insane. Now my brother Nate is taking me shopping, but the one catch is that the vendors don't speak English. During the holidays, the Israelis come here because if they're Chabad and they're in Israel, the Reb is here. Oh, uh, I see. You'll, you'll hear a lot of French here. Why French? They come from France? There's a, there's a big Chabad community in France also, yeah. Uh, uh, Mashiach Kippah. Mashiach Kippah. Is it good? Is it good on me? Give myself a Kippah. It's a little bit small, right? Ich will ein Größe Keeper. Yeah, this is a better size. In Spanish? I need a little bit of it. Echad is rey. Echad is rey. What? 11? 11? 11. 11. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a little Hebrew. Still got the Alright, 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 alright. That guy just didn't even speak English back there. Yes, okay. they only speak Hebrew. Right. A lot of people in uh, Canada town also don't speak any English. And you're exactly, exactly. That's, that's, that's true. When you have an insular Talk community, you don't necessarily need to branch out. You're right. You're right. 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 This, this is where everybody learns and prays. And, uh, looks like they're dancing or doing some sort of. I've seen this in my dream before. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I recognize you. You too. Speak Chinese. Yeah. That's awesome to see yeah. you. Yeah. How cool. are you? Nice to see you. Very, yeah. Shalom aleichem. Hey, hey, John. Are you, are you practicing Hebrew? That was. Uh, that was Master. Yiddish. Yeah. Then me and my friend Frankie, who also speaks some Yiddish, went to get lunch. Jewish lunch, of course. Cafe 28? Yes, it is. Frankie, what's what filled to? Is it a hostel? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Mein Chavel will say Rugelach. Will say Yiddish Rugelach. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we got the Rugelach. Yeah, the Rugelach. You want Chinese cheese? Yeah, Chinese cheese. Cheese, uh. No. No, no, no. Okay, no. Uh, Bivol Costa. Uh, Rogala. Uh, Zagai. Zagai? 
Kosher. Oh, it's like a kosher. different level of kosher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have a pastrami sandwich? You pastrami? Okay. I want a pastrami sandwich. Afrai, what's it? Afrai, yeah. Costa Kishka? Yeah. Kishka. It's your first time trying Kishka? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> No, I'm so serious. What is this? What is this? What is this? No, it's like my past okay, life. Right. <laughs> I think I'm Jewish in my past life. <laughs> what is this? Do you drink Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gishmach. Do you want to eat my pastrami? Do you want to eat my pastrami? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. By nightfall, it was time to go to a big Jewish street dance party. But first, this happened. Photo? Oh, uh, should I have been seeing you? Do you guys know me? Da, 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 da. I follow, why follow you? Follow. Follow. Yeah, you guys speak Yiddish or no? Uh, no, 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 no. Photo, photo. Chini, no? Photo. Is that real? Yo speak Chini, Argentina. 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 Argentina, yeah. Oh, photo, photo. Todos Argentina. Argentina. Sí. Wow. 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 Sí, 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 porque, porque aquí están, están muchos mexicanos oh, y sí, sí. venezolanos y ustedes en Nueva York por, por, solo por su coach. Dale, dale, dale. Por, sí, wow. Estoy aprendiendo el uh, Yiddish. Oh. Oh. Ahora sí. Habla un poco en inglés. Oh. Es más. Oh. ¿Son judío? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Me estás jodiendo? ¿Te pusiste ¿Qué judío, boludo? ¿Son te A veces. Eh, está bien, che. ¿No te gusta Nueva York? Sí. Vos sos de acá, ¿no? Vos sos de acá. Sí, sí, sí. Ese es el chino, boludo. Yo le dije yo, no. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Sí, sí, no te veo. Wow. No. Ustedes, uh, sí, chao, chao, chao. Ah, acá está, acá está. ¿Vos hablas en 15 idiomas? Este, aprendo francés, muchos, francés, aprendo francés, muchos. Este pero mexicano, ¿cómo ¿Podés mandar un saludo? Tipo, hola. Ah. Oh, video. sí, sí, sí. Eh, Check out video llamada. Hi. I'm his body. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? Es un tronco. ¿Y aquí yo vas a estar ahí en los bailes? ¿Ah? Sí, 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 sí. sí. Your, your channel is best, best. Crazy. Best all the world. Best all the world. Thank you, guys. Eres Buenas noches. El, el, el jefe. Buenas yeah. noches. El jefe. Oh. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Can I have a video? You're a Swedish? Hi. Yeah, yeah. I'm a winner on Haber. I'm a winner on Haber. Uh, What's that? Haber? Fans from Argentina. Nice to meet you guys. So this, this is like a... It's just like food is open to everybody. So we for everybody. We have non-Jewish people coming. We have African Americans coming. The Pashkin is not the wrong. Uh, and you see here, families that don't have a style. This is all year round here. We keep the house open. This is a very, very big thing. The thousands of people coming from all over the world. Not to Daraba. Yeah. To Daraba. To Daraba. To Daraba. To Daraba. And we serve here cereal, milk. 
cakes, wow. coffee, tea, 24 hours. This is 24 7 and sleeping too. We have a lot of yeah. people sleeping here. Come. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Yeah. I love the river. It's expensive, right, to do all this. Come, come, come. Give a look. All different, different walks of life there. Take a walk for yourself. Feel comfortable. Wow. Take a walk. See what's going on. This is his house. Some people are wealthy and they decide to put it all away into a condo, and some people decide to do something like this. Yeah, you want to try some? It's really great. And he has like a, a block long soup. Yeah, the, the whole block. Where people are eating in here, sleeping even, and sleeping. And this whole thing is one continuous. That's episode, amazing. Yeah. And the chicken soup is delicious. All right, let's go dancing. In. It's like a it's like a block party here, right? Right, right. This is what being an Orthodox Jew is all about. Well, what partying? <laughs> well, let's get some cotton candy. Make sure you guys. All right, we're gonna join a circle. What if I put you on my shoulders? Really weird. Yeah.